Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful My beloved brothers and sisters, I'd like to talk about The qualities of a believer The qualities a believer is meant to have the good qualities a believer should have and portray in his or her daily life. We have the Prophet وسلم, as the final messenger, the best of creation, the most noble of all messengers. So we are very fortunate to have him. He portrayed any good quality you can think of so since now we are muslims and he is our rasul and we are meant to follow him then definitely we have to try our best to portray at least some of his good qualities he had different types of qualities that he portrayed the Prophet وسلم, never lied he was trustworthy he never cheated nor did he deceive nor did he disrespect anyone nor did he do anything negative you can think of? He was an absolute perfect human being, a worshipper of Allah, our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if we really love him and we really want to be good Muslims, we have to try our best to follow him, to try our best to do, uh, let's say, to do at least, to portray, to do good things, to portray at least some of his qualities. We can't have all. We should try our best to see we don't lie, we don't deceive, we don't decept, we don't cheat. We don't backbite, we don't slander, we don't gossip. That would make us be good Muslims. And that would prove the love we have for him. Today many people claim to love Allah and they claim to love his Rasul. Yet they engage in everything. They engage in acts of worship. Besides worshipping Allah alone, they are meant to worship Allah alone, they claim they love Allah, and yet they do everything besides worshipping Allah alone. They claim they love Allah's Rasul, and yet they don't follow the Rasul, they innovate, and they do things that are against what? Or are against or are not what the Rasul taught. I want to share with you a very simple answer. When someone comes to you and tells you to do something, and you know the Rasul never did such a thing, the simple answer you can give to that person is I don't have the guts. I am a Muslim, I am a believer, I believe in Allah and His Rasul. I don't have the guts to go against what the Rasul taught. Simple answer, simple and short answer. Very simple and short. Someone comes to you and tells you to do something against the Rasul's teachings. Simple answer. I don't have the guts to do that. I don't have the guts to go against what he taught. Simple answer. Very simple answer. So, we should try our best. Today, people want to lie. 
People want to deceive. People want to backbite. People want to slander, to gossip. Lying is a sin. Gossiping is a sin. Slandering is a sin. Likewise, cheating is a sin. People want to lie. People want to lie against someone because they hate him. Just because they hate that person, they want to lie against him. It is not to be, it is not meant to be that way. As Muslims, we don't lie. A Muslim shouldn't lie. Just because you hate someone doesn't mean uh, a brother asks you about that brother or that sister. You just lie and just uh, that brother or sister. I don't know. Uh, let's say uh, just you just lie because you hate him. You hate her. That is not a believer. A believer shouldn't lie or gossip or slander. Apart from staying away. Apart from staying away from lying, cheating, deceiving, but biting and gossiping, there are few other things we have to learn as part of the good qualities of the Rasul. And in order to learn those things, we have to forget about the community and we have to try our best to do that. To do those things not because majority of the people living in the community do those things if you are to think that you would only be able to do those things that the people in the community do uh, wallahi, it would be hard for you take for example the issue of saying the salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Simple and short. Simple and short. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you say to a brother or a sister, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi, he or she, they have the choice to reply you exactly the same way you said to them assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah they would just say wa alaikum as salam or you said assalamu alaikum they would just say wa alaikum as salam if they want wa rahmatullah if they want wa barakatuh so if you say assalamu alaikum the person replies wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah or wa barakatuh. If you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, the person replies by saying wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah. Or wa barakatuh. And if you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, the complete, he, the person replies wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wallahi, my beloved brothers and sisters, it increases love. It makes us love one another. And in different communities and societies, this act of worship is, it has been abandoned. So if you think you would only engage in that, which is uh, practiced by most of the people living in the community, you would end up practicing that which is inappropriate because in most communities lying cheating deceiving gossiping and backbiting are the things most of the people living in those communities engage in so if you are to say you would only engage in that that would be a problem a very big problem very big problem so, if you are to engage in that, which, if you are to engage in that, which only 
in that which the people in the community practice, uh, in the people in the community engage in. If you are to engage only in that which the people in the community engage in, you would end up engaging in bad. Because today in the community, people, most of the people engage in that which is wrong. They want to lie or deceive or cheat or decept or backbite or slander. So if you are to say that you would do that only which those, if you are to say you would do only that which most of the people in the community do, you would end up not achieving anything. Yes, you would end up not achieving anything. So, my beloved brothers and sisters, it is an act of worship to say salam. It would increase love. If you really claim to love that Rasul, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you claim to love him, then definitely you have to follow his teachings. And if you claim to love Allah, definitely you have to fulfill his commands and abstain from his prohibitions. Simple and short. Simple rules. Follow them. You live a better life here and in the year after. If you engage in the arts of worship that you are meant to engage in and Allah loves you, Wallahi, you are a winner. It is better for Allah to love you and everybody in the community to hate you than for Allah to hate you, than for Allah to dislike you and every body in the community loves you. It is better for you to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to displease everyone in the community than for you to displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and please everyone in the community. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to do that which is within his commands so that he might, he may and would be pleased with us. He would be pleased with us because Allah loves every single one of us. If not because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only Allah knows where we would be now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deeper understanding. So, my brothers and sisters, I have talked a little about, I have talked a little bit about the qualities of a believer, the good qualities of a believer, the good qualities a Muslim should have, should portray. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to follow the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to fulfill the commands of Allah and abstain from his prohibitions.